Currently today, there's a ton of waste in the agriculture industry predicated on the perspective that we have to spray absolutely every plant in the entire field. 95% of what's sprayed is actually wasted. But if you can use artificial intelligence to give the right amount of fertilizer in the right place at the right time, you have a chance to optimize that farm and reduce pollution in a way that human beings could just never accomplish. Combating weeds in a sustainable way is more urgent today than ever. Scientists say global warming supercharges the growth of certain weeds that compete with crops for nutrients, thereby threatening food security. But every drop of chemical sprayed comes with an environmental cost. That's why startups like Precision AI are coming up with a new approach. The way we grow our food hasn't changed much in the last hundred years. If you're a broadacre farmer, you have to buy very, very expensive big machines. They're called ground sprayers. They can cost upwards of a million dollars for the latest and greatest technology, but you only use them a handful of weeks during the year. About 80% falls in the soil and does nothing, and about 10 to 15% falls in the crop, which is what you don't want. Only 5% of that field is weeds. So we saw a real big opportunity there to be able to bring these type of advanced technologies onto the farm to grow food smarter than we have in the past. Precision AI is an artificial intelligence company that uses drones with built-in AI to scan fields in real time, identify the species of the plants that are in the field, and precision apply chemical to only the weeds, saving about 95% of the chemical over traditional farming practices. What we'd like to transition the industry to something we call spray as a service. And somebody could pull up with a truck with a bunch of drones in them and that could go out and spray your field for a per acre cost where you don't actually have to own that big sprayer asset. Our value proposition to the farmer is that we can say, take the amount of money you spend on pesticide every single year, cross in that number and write in a number that's 80 to 90% lower. Precision farming has been gaining traction for years. The consultancy Markets and Markets estimates it'll grow to a nearly $16 billion market by 2030. But navigating international regulations and proving the tech at scale is a significant hurdle. Today, based on the regulations, because you need human beings on site, that means you need networks of drone pilots to be able to pilot the drones. You know, building all these networks takes time. A lot of people are slightly scared of autonomous farming, right? Whether an autonomous drone or autonomous tractor, because you might be, you know, taking a job away from somebody else. But actually, in agriculture, labor shortages are a real, real problem. These types of labor shortages are actually a hindrance to farms reaching their full potential and, frankly, to the ecosystem producing more food. If we fast forward in, let's say, 20 years into the future, well, what does the farm look like? It's my belief that you're going to have a drone on every farm in the same way that you have a tractor on every farm today. Investors are also very excited about this technology because it's disrupting an industry that needs to be disrupted. Because it's also a chance to do a social good for the planet. By reducing the amount of pesticide that you're putting on your field, it really improves the biodiversity of the field, and it also reduces pollution in the soil, and soil health is very, very important to the future of our food production systems.